our radio show. Oh, Lord, just I a couple. Okay, with you. Just, just a couple. You got good lighting? Yeah, I got some. You just said lighting. such interesting things. I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just a well, just a quick couple of questions I'm and some and some and some recorded. comments. But yeah, you said some real interesting stuff. This is Brother Michael here, IUIC Radio. Are you Israelites? Israelites in Christ Radio, oh, cool. yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, we are. Oh, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> They're filming. I know. Brother Michael here, Israelites in Christ Radio, IUIC Radio, the Lions in Show. We're here with Miss Sheila Prebright, the award winning photographer with the 1969 exhibit here at Daytona State. Miss Prebright, this question I want to ask you do you think that the so called black and Latino community, has like a sense of a loss of identity, of exactly like who we are. We get, like sometimes somebody will tell me they're African American, they'll tell me they're black, they'll tell me they're Afro American. Is it a, do you think it's a loss of identity there in our community? Um, if I could say this like this, America is caught up on labeling, right? And since the, I don't know what years it came in. When did they start putting on the unemployments where it's biracial, it's this or other? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe in the, was that in the 90s or late yeah, 80s? Yeah, I think it was in the 90s. So there's always been an identity problems with African Americans and Latinos, but I look at all of us is in totality um, black, <laughs> if yeah. you want to say it like that. So I think it's that brainwashing. That, that brain, in, yeah, that brainwashing. It's, it's the mental state. I remember I was in Miami, and um, the body of work I did on um, young Americans, and I always ask people to tell me their identities. You had some blacks saying black American, African American, or American. One thing that I do know when it comes to blackness, black is so negative. Okay. That's the way they paint the picture. Right there where the we picture don't is want, painted. We have artists that wanna don't want to be called black artists. I'm an American artist. I am black. <laughs> I know who I am and if you have that confidence and I think that's what we need. It's like the Black Panther movement. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's wearing their African outfits and all of that yeah. stuff. Because we really don't know our identity yeah. and who we come from. And I think it's just the brainwashing of America that keeps then us that's, in this that's, state. That's, that's keeps actually us in this state. a true statement of yeah. us being brainwashed. Yeah. Did you know that a lot of things that you said are actually biblical? It's I actually so. it's actually in the Bible. Can I is read that, one is, thing to you? Is that why the lady asked me what religion I was with? She might have said, yeah, she might have said that. <laughs> and I mean, the fact that when you said you do believe in a higher being, which is yeah, a good thing, yeah. in the Bible, the higher being that you talk about actually talks about some of the oppression, the picture that you took from 1916 into to now, mm -hmm. some of the oppression is actually in there of the people that you took pictures of. Can mm -hmm. I read one? Go ahead. Read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 29. Because when when you look at this, I'm not going to go into a big sermon, right. but Moses is actually talking to the Israelites, mm -hmm. saying that if they break God's commandments, being the Israelites, these things that are happening to the black and Hispanic community is going to be a curse that's going to happen to us. And it's like written right there. Read, read that one scripture. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope of in darkness. What does this mean? Groping mean that we, we are always looking for something to get our hand to. Mm -hmm. We are, are we Islamic? Are we with the Panthers? Are we Black in Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter? We're always searching, groping for something. That's a, a curse that's on us. Keep reading. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled every more. As a nation, as a whole community, I mean, just be honest, we haven't really prospered in our ways. Even Martin Luther King, I don't know if you remember, when he's talked to... um. Harry Belafonte, Harry Belafonte said that Martin Luther King, before he died, said, I think I am integrating with a burning house. Right, right. Yeah. So, and, and so I just wanted to point it out to you that the things that you say mm -hmm. and take pictures of mm -hmm. are actually biblical. Mm -hmm. And the, the identity that we've lost because we're searching is the identity that the Moses was talking to the Israelites mm -hmm. and all these things that happened to us in our community, mm -hmm. 
we are the people that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. We are actually the Israelites. Mm -hmm. When you said that comment about uh, when you were younger, it was talking about you said you wanted to be Jewish and stop black. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing about that is, according to the higher being, yeah. he says you are, you are the Jew. Right. You are the real Jew. Yeah. So I just want to um, thank you for the opportunity of talking to you. Love the pictures. I'm looking forward to the films that you might start making. <laughs> I got to tell our so, stories. I really did. Yeah. I want to give you this. Yeah, this this goes more into what I'm... I'm familiar with uh, If you were in Atlanta, Atlanta is all out in the street spreading the truth. No, the, I, the, I used the to truth. photograph them when I came to Atlanta. Wow. I know about wow. The wow. Yeah, so... We learn about him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, but spiritually so, is it takes the physical to understand the spiritual. So, yeah. That yeah. really, we're in a spiritual war, actually. Definitely true. Definitely true. Well, maybe I will run across your path again, hopefully. But, okay. again, thanks for your time. Okay, and thank you. All right.
channels down as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts we want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos so again Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.